Hey Dragonauts, what's Dragonon? Astral Slam back here with another deck. Today we're looking at Is It Prowess, a deck that can really shape up and fly over the current meta. But before I get into the deck, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all things related to MTG. And with that, let's kick into the deck or cast into it as we were. Prowess is a really sweet mechanic and it is a back from Brothers War in Monastery Swift Spear, right? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, the creature with prowess is going to get plus one plus one until end of turn and we have a lot of synergies to do with casting non-creature spells first off the swift spear obviously we also are playing third path iconoclast casting a non-creature spell may not give it prowess but this is going to make you a one one colorless soldier token which is awesome because we love a board of tokens to go wide when we have our good friend balmore the battle mage captain a two mana one through a flying that when you cast an insert sorcery spell Creatures you control get plus one plus zero oh, and trample until end of turn. And this happens for every instant and sorcery you cast. So if you cast one in a turn, your board gets plus one plus zero oh, and trample. If you cast three in a turn, your entire board gets plus three plus zero oh, until end of turn. Very awesome. And then it almost cleans up our entire creature base. We're not actually running a ton of creatures. The last creature here we are playing is the Delver of Secrets. A feisty little 1-1 one -one that if you reveal the top card of your library at your upkeep, and it happens to be an instant or a sorcery flips into a 3-2 flyer, just pounding out that ever additional damage. So naturally in this deck, we want to hit a lot of instants and sorceries, those non-creature spells to either guarantee our flips, guarantee the prowess trigger, or guarantee the tokens we have and buffing them. So to do that, well, that's what we're running. It's a mass amount. So we have a selection of damage spells, counter spells, and draw. First up our damage spells. This is play with fire and leading strikes. Very effective cards hitting two very pivotal points of two damage and three damage and play with fire actually adding into a little bit of card advantage in the sense of if you use it on your opponent's face, you get to scry one. In terms of removal, we have the fading hope uh, again, acting in a similar way of play with fire, getting able to scry, but fading hope is going to be able to balance either blockers off your opponent's board, protect an item of yours, or remove an annoying creature your opponent has in general. Cleaning up the removal package, we have our counter spell. So we're running two make disappears and two spell pierces in the main. The make disappears are gonna let you have a little uh, extra trick up your sleeve to stop the opponent from getting off a removal spell. And the spell pierce may just save your life in a little bit of a cinch against either a planeswalker, uh, you know, removal spell, or maybe even invoke despair. Sometimes you never know. Now draw the real way this deck gets it moving because this is just going to chain you into other cards that you can continually cast and trigger more prowess stuff. So first off, consider just a great cantrip in the meta. Checking out your first card with Surveil, either putting it to the graveyard or letting, if you want it, keep it on top and then draw it. We have Ancestral Anger. Uh, doing a two-part, A, drawing you a card, but also buffing up the damage you're going to have on a creature and giving a trample. So that Monastery Swift Spear that you put on Ancestral Anger, well, it just got even bigger and then it got trampled. We love it. Lastly, Reckless Impulse. Exiling the top two cards for library and until our next turn we can cast it. Not quite drawing, but still giving us an option of two extra cards until the next turn. And all of this plays together with your creatures to form a very strong synergy base of having a giant Swift Spear, a board full of tokens, or just a massive uh, slew of damage waiting for your opponent thanks to Baumor. Now, talking sideboard, what are we looking to do there? Really depends on the matchup, right? If we are playing against more of a control mid-range kind of game, we do have Jaya, the Fiery Negotiator, letting you have a late game plan where they're developing prowess monks, getting cards from the top of your library, which is great. We're running Disdainful Strokes, Negates, and an extra Spell Pierce, so you can handle the counter magic to maybe stop board clears, like Brotherhood's End, um, the population, farewell, just catching your opponent right off bat so you can ensure the game is over. Uh, if spell recursion is a thing you need to be worried about, we do a Bloodthirsty Adversary, just checking in that finalized damage. You know, recasting a Lightning Strike is always a bonus. And lastly, if we need to be worried about protecting our creatures, we do have Shore Ups as well. Uh, getting to make the creature a plus one plus one to line of turn, protecting with Hexproof and untapping it. So functionally, we could use this as a way to get a blocker for a turn to save us. So so with that, Dragonauts, enjoy the games. With what Fable can do, you know, it's... I'm, going in. I'm actually okay with the hand. Uh, Swiss Spear on one. Uh, we can do Third Path on two. 
We've got a nice slew of spells to set up a really good turn three. So we're just going to get in with the Swiss Spear. Make the opponent think we're aggro. Get in our third path here. And we've got a really sweet sect of spells we get to do next turn to really power up the board. Ah, uh, no, they just abrade the third path. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, I'm still going to go for the... Uh, let's go for Reckless Impulse here first. So that guarantees us a land next turn. Let's go ahead and Ancestral Anger. And then crack in for 4 damage. So opponent sitting at 14, we've got replay with Fires in hand, plus a Consider. Well, that's pretty good. Duress is fine. I'd probably lose a play with fire or consider, yeah. You see, I might have considered the play with fire, because this is just going to go face. Oh, they have two duresses. Oh, well, it didn't matter then. Oh, no, another play with fire. Well, if that's the case... That's going to go... Let's just do them again. Uh, Reckless Impulse I'm actually fine with. Let's just do it again. And let's just casually get them down to four. Pass the turn. Lone Wolf, what's going on? How you doing tonight? Happy Wednesday. There's game one with uh, Play With Fire taking the win. Game two, we know the opponent's Grixis. So I'm deciding to bring in Counterspell Magic. We're bringing in Pierces, Disdainful Strokes, Make Disappear, and Negate. Uh, this is to help mitigate against any spells that they have to stop our creature base. And we're going to see how game two goes. So let's run. Just get them quickly banned. That's fine. Uh, I do like the hands. Uh, you know, Swift Spear, Path, Balmore. We got Pierce. So I'm kind of for this hand. We're just going to get in there with a the good old Swift Spear. Swifties doing the thing. Ooh, a Blood Tithe Harvester. Curious about the Harvester. I think I'd like to see them use the Harvester to take out my third path. Perfectly fine. Trespasser. All right. So apparently this MOR is. Uh, what's MOR? Um, let's just play in a Balmore. We'll say no attacks and pass the turn. I'll hold up the Spell Pierce for next turn. Might catch them off in like a Fable or something, right? Yeah, let's Spell Pierce. We'll see if they want to keep that Pink Cluster. They do. All right. Now we just kind of get to chain some spells, which is pretty sweet here. Oh, no kidding, Dark. Seriously. Oh, that's real bad. Uh, let's do it again. Hopefully not see another land. <laughs> Alright, another Swifty. That seems fine. I'll just crack in for here. Oh, I didn't mean to attack with a 1-2, but I guess they never block the 1-2, right? So maybe that's actually fine. Oh, they do. They go down to 8. Everything blocked off. Jeez, Stark, are you okay? Like, was anything actually the problem there? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Alright, Balmor's biting the dust. We are just flooding out so bad right now. We only have 20 lands, and we've drawn almost half. Actually, we've drawn half the lands in the top 15 cards of our deck. Not so great. <laughs> Not so great for us. Uh, 
I mean, at this point, I can't really block. I'm kind of hoping we draw a Reckless Impulse off the top. That might be able to keep me going. But if it's just another land, uh, it's going to be bad news bears on our side. We'll have to give up on game two here. All right, another Bank Buster. So that's two card draws. Nope, just another land. Yeah, that's going to be game. So game two, massive flutter. We hit half our lands. Not usually what you want to see in this type of list, but that's okay. So going into game three, we're going to bring back in the play with fires, bring back in the lightning strikes, and keep in the make disappear. So we're going to play less counter magic, a little more aggro, and get the opponent's face down and win game three. So let's see how we do. Take the play. Uh, I am happy to keep this hand. We got some Swifties, and we like some Swift Spear action. So let's go ahead and consider here. Double trigger. Um, don't think I actually really want the land, to be honest. I get another land anyways. <laughs> oh dear. All right, Blood Path Harvester coming out. I think I'm actually all right with that because I'm just going to go ahead and Lightning Strike the Harvester. And then we'll Ancestral Anger on a Swifty. Trigger Cross again, draw another card. And just get the opponent right down to seven. All right, Brotherhood Zen coming in here. That's perfectly fine. We'll cast in two, play in the third path, Iconoclast, and then pass the turn. Opponent's sitting at six now. Gonna get a counter spell on that Graveyard Trespasser though. So we use that Make Disappear. Get us a one one, counter the Trespasser, and the opponent's not gonna have any creature on board. We're going to go ahead and Ancestral Anger our 1-1. One, one. And we just take game three nice and clean. And Swift Spear... Swift Spear into Consider? Yeah, I can work with that. We can definitely, definitely work with that. I'm good. Tired, but we out here, hey, the point is you out there, you doing the thing, and you doing what you need to do, my friend. All right, let's go to attack first. And then let's play in the third path Iconoclast here. But their only response can really be either Fading Hope it back or use a Consider. So... I get to consider. Forgot to call the chiropractor. Ooh, yeah, do that, Dark. Get call the chiro. I gotta go see. I'm gonna go see a chiropractor in a couple weeks. Oh, they're playing. Is it too? How oh, cute! Well, that's adorable. Uh, let's go ahead and ancestral anger. Get our prowess and a card draw here. We'll go ahead and Reckless Impulse as well. Just so we kind of set up our draws next turn that hopefully we can get Jaya off. Sure, Spell Pierce is fine. We push them down. Got their own third path, eh? I will just cast in Jaya. is pretty good. Let's go ahead and I'll make another prowess monk. Has done that. Oh, I believe it. And we'll push in for two here. Sure, fading hope the token's fine. That's that's fine with me. 
down to 10. 10 with three cards in hand in the third path. Third path could be tricky for me if... Wow, yeah, they have the Reckless Impulse. Looks like opponents are very similar brew to us. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Is it me, Calper? What's going on, bud? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Another third path. That is crazy value. Okay, so choose target creature and opponent controls whenever you attack this turn deals damage equal to the number of attacking creatures equal to that critter. So I think for starters, I'm going to minus one Jaya. Grab a mountain. Play in the mountain. Cast an Ancestral Anger. Cast a Reckless Impulse. Cast a Fading Hope. Put that on the bottom. Go to attack. And then cast a Consider, because we have Trample. Put a Make Disappear into the Graveyard, because we're tapped out. Get them down to three, and then we've got a Lightning Strike to finish them off next turn. Nope, not me. Is it you? It is you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I appreciate that, Calper. I appreciate that. They're down to one. My goodness. Fortunately, we've just got the lightning strike to take the game. So, got game one, we'll do that. So game one, a Monastery Swift Story got us there nice and sweet. So game two, we're bringing in a little bit more counter magic with spell pierces and negates. This is going to help us answer our opponent playing what looks like the mirror deck. In order to bring these in, I've decided to cut an Ancestral Anger, a Play With Fire, and two Lightning Strikes. It's a little less burn range for a little bit more answer on what the opponent's doing. So let's see how game two goes. Subscriber of the week. Y'all are crushing the goal this week. What's going on? Also, we are not keeping this hand. Ah, uh, this is actually not bad. I want to keep Jaya, so I think I'm going to keep the counter spell and the third path. Because, like, third path can establish a board state that we just win with, right? That's the hope, anyways. Nice, we get a spell pierce on the Reckless Impulse and just shut that right off. Get a Shiv and Wreath, and we get to go right into third path Iconoclast. That feels pretty good. Alright, opponent has their third path Iconoclast. And they're using a play with fire. All right. Playing our coast, we'll play in our other third path iconoclasts. When are we playing Digimon? Arc probably sometime soon. It might be on the fourth. I do still need to learn. All right, Swifty's coming in. They've just got a lightning strike following up. Can't fault them for that. So we might be losing this one. We get a Delver with a damage on board. We'll drop in Jaya for now. Plus one to make a Monk. I might actually just be better sideboarding out the Jayas. Oh yeah, they just had all the answers. Right. All right, they, they can take game two, that's fine. Game two, uh, not quite so good. We did have double Iconoclast, but unfortunately the opponent's removal just kind of ate through that. So going into game three, we're bringing back in our burn spells. We are gonna be the aggressors on the play here. And in addition to that, I'm bringing in Shore Ups. Kind of gonna get a little tricky with playing it. And by tricky, I mean, I'm gonna use it to keep my creatures alive through Hexproof and act as a blocker against the opponent. So let's go and see how game three goes. What we're playing against. Getting to four is kind of bad. Also, this hand is. Eh, I'm gonna mulligan, I think. Alright, that is uh, significantly better. I wanna keep the anger, but I also have the shore up. 
So I'm gonna, I'll put the shore up away. And we're playing a Delver of Secrets starting off here. We'll get the flip. So we get a 3-2, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and attack for three. There's the play with fire. Now that they've used that, we can play in our third path. Oh, come on, you have double play. Wow, all right, fine. Double play with fire, sure. Uh, and we've just kind of got a dead hand now. I didn't expect double play with fire against the opponent. Let's go for a consider. Are you seriously just gonna spell pierce? What is going on? Stop it. It's the turn. What are you gonna spell pierce me again? You can't! Haha! <laughs> no land. Right, we don't want the land. Dorp would have been better earlier. We do get Swifty though. So we're going to poke in for one, and then pass the turn. Sure, Ancestral Anger on my Swift Spear is fine, because you want to draw. Balmor is kind of nice, but I'm not quite sure that I want to play it out. I could. We do still have the shore up. And Balmor can actually push in more damage here. So, you know what? Let's go for it. We'll poke in for one again. And then next turn, we've got sweet damage. Hopefully, that can be casted out here. We need another red source for these Ancestor Anglers to double them up. Right, they got a third path, that's fine. Get the coast, so let's go ahead and Ancestral Anger our Swift Spear. Draw some cards here. Lightning Strike is great. We are gonna push this damage through. And then we're gonna cast a shore up on the Swift Spear. And then we're gonna lightning strike the third path at Conoplas. and we get them right down to five damage in one burst attack. They've got their own Balmor, not a worry though. We are gonna go for the Ancestral Anger first. I'm gonna target Balmor with this one. They're going to consider. We get a Fading Hope we can just use right away on that token. And there's the concede. There's game three, nice and cleaned up. Is it really getting messed up on these one land hands? We're going to mulligan here. OK, don't really have any creatures, but you know, consider Make disappear, those are some answerable stuff. So I'm gonna put the Fading Hope back. And we're gonna try to consider it into getting a creature that we can use. Island isn't really what I'm looking for there though. You have an Ishin in there too? Yo, Calbert, that's sick, I love it. 
I guess I could play in the Delver. No, I'll say no, because I'll hold up the Make Disappear off of the opponent to turn. Just in case. We'll go down to 19 here. And I'll Make Disappear the Yoshin. Oh, they have a recruitment officer anyways. Yikes. Kind of regretting getting rid of that land now. <laughs> hey, this is a bad, bad decision. Yeah, veteran coming down. We're about to take five damage. And it doesn't flip. Take that out at least. I'll I'll poke in for one. I'll use the fading hope. Something I'll have to give. That's a siege veteran. That siege veteran can go right back to hand. Lightning strike. We're taking seven damage here and going down to seven. Our fan and Delver doesn't flip and we lose this game. Jeez. Game one, we just got our socks off. I should have kept that lightning strike on top of the Delver, but in the end, it didn't matter. The damage was still there from the opponent. Going into game two, I'm not making any changes. We're still, we're gonna be on the play this time. We're gonna try to be the aggressor and hopefully we don't draw one land hand so let's see how it goes down especially in such a hand intensive deck <laughs> is the best way i can say this because like we need our target in our hand to do our stuff that being said i know we don't have it in here but we do have play with fire to set up a scry that's also removal and we have a consider so i'm gonna keep for that and we have four lands so there's no way we like master all lands again right right yeah, right. <laughs> Fortified Beach in the Yoshin. They play out the Yoshin. Sure. Pass it over. Let's cast Consider. I will keep that Delver on top. I will play Shivan Reef into a Delver, and we have a Swift Spear. This is a really good start, considering our follow up turn of Play with Fire and Ancestral Anger. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold priority at my upkeep to play with fire, set up the scry for the Delver and get it to flip. So this time we're going to see the Delver actually do Delver things. Delver's going to Delver do. We will take two and that's fine. We'll go to 17. So first off, we're going to go to 16 and uh, no, I can't actually do that. I have to do it on the face. Because I don't get the scry if I target the creature. It's a fading hope anyways. That's fantastic. I love that. Delver flips to Delver greatness. Go to our main phase. Cast in. Then I'm going to do Ancestral Anger onto the Monastery Swiss Spear. We get to consider, that's also so tight. Let's attack for seven damage here. See if the opponent blocks. Now I'm thinking they don't. This Valiant Veteran to them is extremely important, which now means that I can keep my blue mana open for Fading Hope on what could be a Sky Strike Officer or another creature, or we just take game two. Going into game three here, honestly, I'm not making any changes. This is a matchup where we want to be just as much as an aggressor as the opponent. And our play with fires and lightning strikes are well situated to deal with the soldier's creatures. We're kind of looking hopefully for a third path iconoclast because a third path and what it can develop on those bunch of one ones on board state with the Balmor can just end the game against soldiers. So that is going to try to be our plan for game three if we can draw into it. Otherwise, maybe Delver will show off again. Let's go ahead and see game three. Yeah. Okay. 
third path, consider anger, lightning strikes. Only two land, but two draw cards. I'm I'm happy with that. Hammy Hawks! Pork products have entered the chat. <laughs> Mr. Hawks, welcome in, my friend. How are you doing this fine, fantastic Wednesday evening? Thank you so much for that two-month subscription, my dude. It is a pleasure to see you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play with Fire the Opponent here. This tells me there is a... Ooh, land. I do like the land. Uh, there is a Resident Reinforcement in. So, yeah. Yeah, me. What's going on, bud? How you doing? Ooh, Valiant Veteran. I stand completely incorrected. I did that kind of turn. Anyways, we'll just play in a third path iconic blast. <laughs> we got the scry on, so that you know that was that was good too. Cam, you're our 14th subscriber of the week, by the way, dude. Ah, boo you, opponent, boo you, boo you. I don't like it, but I'll accept it. Gimme, gimme. Then then dream putting off the head to bet. Yo, I feel that, bro. I feel that. Also, Dezatross, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing good tonight, friend. Uh, I'm thinking of bringing back Selesnya Enchants. Is it still a viable thing? It is. Enchants is still very strong in what it can do. Making that a 4-4? Four -four? That's fine. Right, I'll cast Consider. Impulse is really good. Let's go ahead and cast that impulse. The games have been good, Ham. They've been up and down, but they are they are doing they are doing the thing. And let's go ahead and cast in the Swift Spear. I'm gonna say no attacks and pass the turn, and then we have consider. And right now, the idea just make a bunch of one ones with our third path iconoclast. Yeah, Generous Visitor is uh, still a disgustingly good card. Going in for seven. See, I think I'm actually kind of okay to take the seven. One mana does get you a lot these days, like no question. I'm gonna go to eight. Sorry, didn't mean seven, I meant eight. I want this Consider to make the one one on this turn. Balmore, yes. Yes. Every which way, yes. Give me that Balmore. Give me that Balmore. Mmm, that's a Ballymore. Boom, the Ballymore. Give me that Ballymore. You can do that. That's fine. I can just pay for it. You didn't kick it, so thank you for the Balmore. Sure, that's fine. You want to go about that route? All right, uh, I'll just push in for some damage here. Pass the turn, because at this point, uh, we're just going to play blockers. Please, please, may I share my pile? I need to see it in action, but I don't have wild cards help. Shifter, what's going on, friend? How you doing today? Welcome in. Uh, what is your Rakdos deck, my friend? What is your Rakdos brew? Some blockers here. We're going to cast a consider. Get another 1-1. One, one. don't think I need the land. Hey, another Balmore. Great. Uh, now the question will be if this will be lethal. I think I have to hold off for like one more turn for this to be lethal. Because then I can attack in with Balmore, so I could still consider put myself down to four. Take in the Valiant Veteran, but then I need to watch if they have a land on that as well. Uh, my other option is I just Lightning Strike the Valiant Veteran and deal with that now. No, I think my best bet is just a Chump Block. I just go. I'm dead if I don't. I guess I actually have enough blockers to still live, right? As long as I move back enough, so... A lightning Strike. Hit 
hit our Icono class here, go down to four. And we just take game three. Okay, that was fun. Hey Dragonlance, thank you so much for sticking around at the end of the video. It's always appreciated. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below, the bell notification for more. And as always, keep believing. I'll see you next time.